Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. But now we're trying to cultivate a lifestyle here, right? So to, to, for it to become a habit, you have to be doing it consecutively for at the very least three weeks. And yes, I need, I need, I need to work on myself, man. I need to get away from the savannah, child. Move your body. Write down what your plans are. Write down what your goals are. It is so important to write down because writing down is manifesting. She'll be like, ha, 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 Just go outside, bro. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is I, it is just Gatleo. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so, so much for choosing me each and every single day. I always say that and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to thank you for choosing me every single time you come onto this channel, my babes. Um, so today we're going to get into a topic that I really haven't spoken about in quite a long time. However, I do get asked questions about it either in my DMs, every now and again but i don't really talk about it much anymore because i centrally focus my content online to be about something else however i kind of figured that you know what i'm here today i might as well just share some of the healthy tricks tips these kinds of things that i do a lot when i am healthily resetting my body now if you've been following this channel for a long time we're getting into the video so let's get into it get yourself some water I have my water. I'm not quite sure where it is right now, but I have it. So get yourself some water and some green tea and let's chill and have a chat. I'm going to be talking to you guys about resetting into healthy habits. So the healthy habit reset. And the reason why is because man, I get asked a lot of questions. Okay. I get asked a lot of questions about how much water do you drink? How much, what kind of food should I put into my plates? And all that kind of stuff and i was just like you know what maybe you are like me because i'm about to embark on a healthy reset i'm not even gonna lie to you today i never go shy shy in it i'm not gonna lie to you for the last couple of weeks i have not i've been eating pizzas i've been eating pasta i've been literally living my best life drinking cocktails and this and that and the other and i just wanted to and I was celebrating so many milestones and all of those things. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to treat myself. Okay. Just for a little bit, I'm going to treat myself. And here we are. Okay. But now I want to embark on a 21 day healthy habit reset. And I thought that it would be so nice to share it with you guys as to the things that I typically would do when I want to reset my body into taking on and cultivating healthy habits. Now, this is going to be for the girlsies and guysies who are watching this video and thinking, yes, I need, I need, I need to work on myself, man. I need to get away from the Savannah child. I need to get away from this Saint Tropez or Ice Tropez or whatever it is. <laughs> you know, these are the people that I'm talking to today. Cultivating healthy habits is not easy. Hence why when something becomes a lifestyle, that's when you have been doing it for at the very least 21 days or more. So you can be trying it out and maybe you do it for like a week and then you think, ah, yeah, but there's no harm in me having a pizza. And then after a week you're having a pizza and then you realize, Ish, yeah, that wasn't, yeah. You have to kind of try and attribute these healthy habits for 21 days and work on them consistently so that you can cultivate a healthy lifestyle. And for me, I've generally tried to do this for the last at least four or five years and I keep consistent at it so I can safely say it's become my lifestyle and not necessarily something that I break and then I have to start again and then I break and then I have to start again. The longevity of my life in the last four or five years has been eating healthy and uh, living clean and, and living a healthy lifestyle, right? And cultivating healthy habits. So I've got some pointers for you. I wrote them down yesterday. Get your pen, get your paper. These are the videos where we're sharing golden nuggets, okay? So I'm gonna share those with you, mine with you, that I'm going to be doing over the next 21 days and hoping 
that you can join me in the healthy habit reset okay it's not even gonna be hard it's such a pity that i can't find my bottle because i was gonna show you i've got those two liter bottles those really really big two liter bottles and hydrate drinking water drinking water will be your best friend there's so many qualities to drinking water there's so many benefits to drinking water that people like you need to understand the things that water can do for your body. Um, not only in terms of helping detox your body, in terms of helping cleanse your body of all the stuff and gunk that's in it from food and this and that and the other, but also helping with your digestion, your body's digestion, cleaning out certain things in your body, cleaning out your kidneys. So there's so many uh, benefits to drinking water, but at the same time, cultivating a healthy habit, when it comes to drinking water, it means cutting out all the other things. So, soda, cold drink, everybody cold drink, cut it out. Instead of having your pizza with a cold drink, have your pizza with water. And I know it doesn't sound exciting, but have your meals with water. I'm not saying don't ever have sodas. This is not the point of this video. The point of this video is we're trying for 21 days to cultivate healthy habits. And I'm going to be there in that boat just as much as you are going to be there in that boat. So very, very important to at least try and hydrate. At the very least, I would say I would recommend that you have over two and a half liters of water a day. At the very least, I breach four or five liters of water a day and I'm quite, I'm okay with it. I'm happy with it. I'm proud of it. It's, it's a thing. I'm used to it. My body actually craves water when I'm not drinking it. So I, it just happens. It just happens. After a day when I'm not, when I've had a really low intake of water, my body kind of, I feel it in my body because, you know, my pee and, and this, and I feel kind of, uh, you know, so definitely hydrate and hydrate by drinking lots and lots of water. Just try, just try. Okay. Eat nutritious foods. Now we can talk about the pizzas and the pastas and whatever. I'm not saying don't have these foods, but now we're trying to cultivate a lifestyle here right so to, to for it to become a habit you have to be doing it consecutively for at the very least three weeks so eat healthy nutritious foods get into having fruits get into having vegetables it's so important to eat healthy and nutritious foods for your body so that it starts using those uh, products products those food groups and all of that for the benefit of your body so like you know they'll say that berries have really great they are really great um antioxidants and 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 they detoxify as well so these are really important fruits to have um bananas yeah you can have it banana is great healthy fats but not all the time avocados great healthy fats but not all the time so I think it's also really important to just read up on the healthy food groups, but very, very important to incorporate fruits and vegetables into your diet. Eat nutritious foods that are going to help your body, whether with fiber, with protein, eggs are really good for protein, fiber, you've got spinach, you've got broccoli, you've got a lot of um, food groups that you can eat that actually work for the benefit of your body. And if you're looking to lose weight, things like berries are actually really good for that so it's really i highly recommend that i'm very handsy today <laughs> i highly recommend that you actually google and you find out what kind of food groups would be essential beneficial to um you know developing healthy eating habits as well very very important sleep Sleep is very underrated and sleep is so important. You know, you see the sun is going to do funny things today. Every time when I decide to record, thanks so much. Thanks. Um, uh, uh, what was I saying? Sleep. So important. Sleep is one of the most underrated things and it's so beneficial for your body. It's beneficial for your mind. It's beneficial for the progressing and processing and proper working mentation of your mind the following day. So it's really important. It's not a, it's not, 
it's not you know cliche or whatever when they say sleep six to eight hours a day uh, it's, it's important i try and do that at the very latest i am in bed 9 30 10 o'clock and i'm up at like six seven so that's that's a good over six hours of sleep and i'm quite happy with that yes there are going to be those moments where you're working you're under pressure you're looking at deadlines you're going to be sleeping at one two three in the morning that's fine not consistently not frequently not regularly sleep does help you when it comes to just relaxing the body healing the body even as you sleep have you ever noticed when people say um no uh, make sure you, you, you know, if you have an earache or if you have flu or if you have, you know, eye ache, eye infection, whatever. Try to sleep because when you sleep, you're giving your body the time to regenerate and heal itself. So it's really, really important to sleep. And if you're not sick, to sleep just to give your mind a break. It's so, so, so important. So that's also cultivating a healthy habit. And just try and do that for the next 21 days and see how that will help. I, in my um, workbook, in my Living Wellness workbook, there's a lot of focus on physical needs, mental needs and all of that. And that's where things like this come in. And you keep track of that as you go along in the 21 days. So it's really, really get the workbook, get the workbook. That's all I'm going to say. Get the workbook. The next thing is move your body. You want to move your body by dancing. You want to move your body by yoga, Pilates, gym. You want to walk. Okay, maybe you don't want to, you don't want to do the gym. I don't want to do the gym. I'm at that phase in my life. I'm at that, I'm that, uh, I'm in that no gym era of my life. And I'm quite okay with that. But I still do find importance in moving my body. Hence why I'm always wearing my Apple Watch. Because I want to see how many steps I've done in that day. And if I feel like I haven't moved a lot that day. Like today is a very sit down record heavy day i know that afterwards when i'm finished i'm going to leave the house going to go somewhere i can get some fresh air literally move my body for a little bit for a couple of hours walk it doesn't matter where you are whether you're in your neighborhood whether you're walking at a mall and you're window shopping with just try and find ways to move your body stretches are really good as well if you're not somebody who likes the yogas the pilates and what have you but just move your body in the morning by doing morning stretches i like to do that early in the mornings if i get up with enough time to spare before i go to work i definitely incorporate stretches in my morning and then i move my body throughout the day so as opposed to using elevators i'll use stairs as opposed to using um, you know, just as opposed to asking the lady who works with us at the office who makes us tea to bring me some tea, I would rather go to the kitchen and make my own tea. That kind of thing. Move the body as much as you can. Stand as much as you can. That's why these watches are great because they tell you that mm -mm -mm, you've been seated for too long, Miss Mamas. Stand. And typically, I will stand and go outside. Point. Get fresh air leave your home outside go outside go outside just sit outside and smell the smells of outside okay even when you're at work just go outside for your lunch break as opposed to eating your lunch sitting at your desk go outside in the gardens of the office park or whatever whatever have you wherever you can sit and uh, um, get in some fresh air, really, really important, because at that point, you're channeling all your other senses. So not only are you eating, maybe you're doing it during lunchtime, but not only are you eating, but you're listening to what's happening around you, maybe listen to an audio book, maybe just listen to the birds, maybe just, just go outside, bro. Like we are in this generation where we are so, uh, we zoomed in and honed in on our work our you know sitting at our laptops all day and this and this that we forget to go outside it's so important to go outside typically on days where i record and heavy record i will always leave the house after i'm done i'll leave the house i'll take a drive i'll go to starbucks or i'll go to seattle and i'll have a coffee and i'll sit outside and i'll read a book or after that i'll just walk around and all of that because 
you just need that break. You have to kind of um, know when to take these breaks where you give your body some time off as opposed to consistently just being in one place. Okay. I'm glad I could remember these things. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Practice health and hygiene. Practice hygiene. Wash your body. Okay. Like, I know that seems like it's something that's like, I mean, come on, Katla, we all do that. Come on. Are you serious right now? I am. Wash your body. Take care of yourself. Exfoliate. Um, practice healthy hygiene habits, right? Shave. Uh, take some time out to actually look after your body in terms of hygiene. It's so important. And also things like making your bed in the morning. For me, I see that as a form of hygiene. For me, I don't like a, an unkept bed, a bed that's not made. It's not, it will never happen in my, in my house, it will never happen. So I love a clean bed because it gets me started for the day, right? It sets uh, a made bed because it gets me started for the day. It sets my mind right, right? So I can focus on, okay, we got, we got the day off started right, you know, made the bed, went into the bathroom, did my skincare hygiene, right? Brushed my teeth, took a nice shower, did a bit of me time, self-care things while I was in the shower. It's so important to cultivate these habits because once you are doing it consecutively for three weeks, at the very least, it becomes a lifestyle. You do it all the time. You do it all the time. Things like nails. If you can, if you're in a position where you can do your nails and go get your toes done and get a massage every now and again or whatever, once you start doing things like that and you become, you, you make them part of your life, your routine from time to time, obviously you can't do your nails every day, but from time to time, it becomes a part of your life. My sister and I, I can't even tell you, I'll give you a, a story time. My sister and I, somehow we always happen to book our nail appointments on the same day. So I'll either be coming out and she'll be coming in or vice versa, but we don't know that we're going to see each other that day. And every time we're together and she's looking at my toes and my toes are like, she'll be like, ha, 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 hey, sis, 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 you know, because it's become part of, it, it's your lifestyle now. This is what you are treating yourself to, but it also becomes part of your life. Your hygiene must also become part of your life, man. Shivang, shivang, let's sing, all those things, okay? Write down your plans and your goals. For the next 21 days, for the next 21 days, write down your plans and your goals. Now, the people who have got access to the Live and Wellness Workbook, they will have space and places to write their plans, their goals, their short-term, mid-term, long-term, then write notes and then this, this, this. It's amazing because my sister was actually writing in her workbook the other day and she was saying that I wanted to get this, 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 and a day or two later, she got a contract, she got a gig. And she's like, I don't, know, I don't know if it's your workbook or whatever. And I'm like, of course it is. <laughs> that workbook was now on some love, okay? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But write down your goals and your plans for your life, whether it be professionally, relationally, mentally, emotionally, whether it be, listen, socially, write down what your plans are, write down what your goals are. It is so important to write down because writing down is manifesting. And if you do these things regularly, you have something to focus on so you don't get easily distracted. So even if it's writing down that, okay, I slept six hours yesterday, I slept eight hours the next day, I slept four hours the next day, you can have those apps as well where you can track these things, which are really, really helpful, where you can track these things and you can actually see that, oh my gosh, I did this today and I did that today and what have you and da da da. And, um, then you can be able to see that, okay, okay, this is becoming a habit. This is becoming a lifestyle and you continue to focus on that. Um, but also writing down your goals, your intentions, your plans is also a great way to um, keep focused on what you want to achieve for your life, for your relationships, for your professional life, intellectually, school life, study life, 
all that kind of thing. So I really hope this helps. And um, these are my ways of cultivating healthy habits. And these are things that I try to do each and every single day, religiously for 21 days and I stay away from certain foods and all of that. I'm not saying don't eat pasta, gents. I'm just saying instead of eating pasta five times a week, eat pasta once a week. That's pretty much what I'm saying. So moderation is really, really good as well. But at the same time, eat healthier versions of that thing. There's healthier versions of pizzas. There's healthier versions of pastas, whole wheats, this, this. So it really is up to you. The onus is on you to, um, Bring yourself and be intentional towards cultivating the healthy habits over that 21 days. I really hope this video did help and my workbook is available for you. The first batch of orders for the workbook are going out this week and then we're going to start pre-ordering for the next batch of orders. So I'm really, really excited. I really would love you to get that workbook. I'm telling you that workbook has done wonders for me and it's done wonders for my sister as well. And uh, yeah, check out my social media platforms for all these kinds of things. Also follow Life by Design, which is my life coaching page where we talk about things like mental health and we talk about things like uh, your mental well-being, your physical well-being, all of that kind of stuff. So cultivating healthy habits really, truly at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Short, it's sweet, it's probably not short. Knowing me, I rent, I'm here. It's short, it's sweet. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Comment down below. Please like the video. I'm really relying on you guys to come through for me. Okay? Okay? Um, please like the video if you did enjoy it. And thank you so much for constantly being here, choosing me over and over again. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, sayonara.